Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson three dash two reading and writing six and seven. You've already practiced counting six and seven. You will learn how to read and write these numbers in this lesson. Let's look at this number right here. What number is this? It's the number four. Can you show me four fingers? Let's count our four fingers and I'm gonna put one line for each finger. One, two, three, Four, the number four. What number is this? Five, can you show me five fingers? All right, I want you to count each finger. One, two, three, four, five. That's the number five. Okay, let's clear that. All right, now let's look at our work mat here. Let's look over here. All right, there's a crab. We are going to call this crab Snappy Crab. And he sees six seashells. Six seashells. How can he show how many seashells he sees? All right, here is the number six. Okay, can you say this number with me? Six. We are going to put six counters on our work, on our work mat. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we wrote the number six. Can you sky write it with me? Point your finger and write the number six in the air. Okay. Let's trace on our worksheets the number six. We start at the top dot right here. We go around, come back up, and make a circle. Let's do it again. We start at the top, follow that arrow down, go around, and make that circle. All right, let's do it one more time. We go down, up, and make that circle. Six. All right. Now, how about here? Snappy crab sees seven seashells. Oh, seven beach balls, not seashells. So now he sees seven beach balls. So how can Snappy Crab use this number to show how many beach balls he sees? We can put how many counters? Seven. One, two, three, four five, six, and seven. We put seven counters on our work mat. Okay, let's write the number six in the air. So you hold up your finger and you're going to trace the number seven. All right, now let's trace it on our paper. We start at the dot. We go to the right, 
and then we go down. All right, let's do it again. Start at the dot, go to the right, and slant down. All right, let's do it one more time. We start at the left, go to the right, and slant down. Good job. Let's go to the next page or turn over our worksheet. Let's look at our first box up here. What pictures do you see? What are these? Those are shells. How can you tell how many shells you see? You can count them. So how many shells are there? Well, we see this number here. What number is that? That is the number six. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six seashells. Let's go here to our next box. How many counters are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There were six counters. How is this box like the first box? Well, there were six shells in the first box. How is it different? Well, this is another way to show six. This picture shows counters instead of shells. Let's go to the third box. All right, what do you think this number will be if you trace it? What do you think this number is? Six. Where do you start to trace the number? Remember, we start at the dot. Let's trace it. There's the number six. Let's look at our last box right here. What number do you see? The number six. So why do you think this number is in this box? To show how many shells there are. Remember, there were six shells. So we use the number six to show how many shells there are. All right, let's go to number one. Right here. All right, so I want you to count the objects and practice writing the matching numbers. You always begin at the black dot. So remember when we're counting, we either we always touch what we're counting or put a line through it so we know what we're counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six stars. So we are going to write the number six starting with the black dot. Six, six, six. Good job. All right, we're in number two. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We counted seven. Let's write the number seven, starting at the black dot, going to the right, slanting down. Let's do it again. And one more time, seven. Let's go to number three. Let's count the flip-flops. Does it matter where we start? No, it doesn't. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's trace the number six. Always start at the black dot at the top. All right, 
We are at number four. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's trace the number six. All right, now we're going to have to write it. They're showing us where to start. You go down, up, and around, down, up, and around, and that is a number six. We are on number five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's trace the number seven. And now we're going to write it without tracing, starting at the black dot, going to the right, slanting down. Start at the black dot, go right, and slant down. We are on number six. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no black dot, but we know that we start at the top. We go down, up, and around. Start at the top, go down, up, and around. Do the same thing, and that is six. Last one, number seven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you know where to start. You go to the right and then you slant down. Go to the right, slant down, and go to the right and slant down. Good job, superstars. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.